tattoo, an indelible mark on the body, and for most who choose one, it's a very personal and sometimes emotional choice. But a former Navy SEAL and his partner created another layer to this experience. 10 News anchor Steve Atkinson shows the new technique that embeds your loved one's DNA in the ink. It's a distinct idea on an art form thousands of years old. Probably 90% of the people who are on this journey with us now start off over dinner saying this is a gimmick. But it's no gimmick. Imagine the ability to take a loved one with you everywhere you go in the form of a tattoo. I had an idea that wouldn't it be cool to be able to turn that tattoo somehow into a, a vessel or a reliquary to be able to put something in the tattoo perhaps even a piece of the person she was memorializing. That's the moment Duffy convinced his old Navy SEAL buddy, Boyd Renner, to join him on this business venture called Everance. One thing I noticed throughout 28 years in the Navy is every military guy I ever met carried something with them. A picture, a keepsake, and for many, some form of tattoo honoring or memorializing a loved one that inspires them. And this is what they came up with, Everance. DNA from a loved one taken with the simple cheek swab sent to their labs in Virginia, purified and encapsulated in a medical grade material, then broken down into powder form to be mixed with tattoo ink. The concept is based on a very, very simple premise that people are free to be their best when they feel a sense of connection to what inspires them. For San Diego tattoo artist Laura Crow, whose clientele is heavily based in the military or law enforcement, the idea was intriguing, but... I was interested, yet skeptical skeptical at first like many after all it's the dna from another human being it goes into the body the same way as tattoo ink and it is designed to be recognized by the body the exact same way as a non-hazardous foreign body a lot of my clients go and deploy for six months four months into war zones and um, i could definitely see some of them wanting to have their tattoos, have the DNA of their children, their wives, you know, to take a little bit of home. The co-founders are clients too. Duffy has the DNA of his daughter in his tattoo depicting a story they love. And Renner, the Navy SEAL who never had a tattoo, now has the DNA of his wife inspired by her resilience battling cystic fibrosis. They were together the day he got his. She was able to take the Everance her encapsulated DNA and add it to the red ink that they added to the red rose on the tattoo. That made it even more special because she was there to be part of this thing. And, uh... Everance currently has about three dozen artists participating in this program, but more and more being added every day. If you would like to learn more about the company or to find an artist who uses Everance, you'll find it in the story on our website at 10news.com.